Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Karuma, and today we're going to be talking about Stormvale Castle, this giant, giant castle in the distance behind me. I just love uh, how you can visit absolutely everything. Even that, you can go there. See that way in the distance? That's the end of, that's the, end of the game, believe it or not. Um, well, let's take you to Stormvale from the starting area. Right here, you'd be passing out with a boss, but I already killed him. Um, I'm gonna be going this way. Straight to the first church. Let me get that grace. Just keep going this way. Um, if you're at the beginning of the game, you won't have this horse. Uh, his name is Torrent. But I can show you where to get him. Make your life a little bit easier. There's a grace that is in front of me right here. You just rest at the grace, talk to Melania, uh, Melena, and you will be able to get the horse. So as you can see, this is the beginning of Stormvale, Stormgate right here. Um, they have a few traps set up and everything. Pretty minimal. You can run around it pretty easy, even run through some stuff, so. I mean, you should be fine if you just keep going, you know, up the hill, the stormy hill, who could have guessed? When dogs falling out the sky. Then you just want to get this grace here, talk to the person in here. I actually didn't grab this item. Um... And then you just want to keep going up and up and up. Just go past these guys, it's super simple. Then you could easily avoid everybody and everything, no problem at all. It's gonna make you get off the horse. I recommend resting at the grace. Just so that you don't run into any problems with any of the NPCs chasing you. You would fight Margit here. The Fell Omen. And this is just the real first taste you get a Storm Veil. I think it's just so amazing. This arena. See all the previous tarnish that tried and failed with all their weapons sticking out of the ground? Just the destroyed, dilapidated wall, I guess. Or architecture. And you can see how old it is if nature's overgrowing it. It must have been like this for quite some time. Uh, Margaret must have been killing tarnished. So. After you grab that grace, head up this way to Stormville Castle, the true entrance. I think the color scheme is so good. The gray with that uh, just beautiful gold. I just think it's amazing. Absolutely perfect. So they do have two ways you can go. I do recommend, you know, getting this grace and then doing everything because you will die. Uh, there's a high chance. Uh, they have this first door right here. You know, the main door, the front gate. You can go through here. They'll have a bit of a harder time. I don't really recommend it for new people. Um, but I can bring you through that way, and there usually is a guy right here, um, after you talk to him and get him to do whatever you want to do, you typically want to kill him because he takes your money. So I'll go through this way, to, um, try to demonstrate how you can possibly survive this. Um, kind of a roll spam game. But it's fine. Um, you want to go this way. Shit. Oh, I'm trying to heal. Yeah, this is a bit challenging at times. And 
and there's still more to go. We'll uh, come back and look through all these areas after I show you where you need to go. Well, that was close. Um, yeah, you should almost be up on Godric now. Ow. Yep, and then this will be Godric. So that is how you get to Godric, probably the fastest way, from my understanding. Um, I'm not too sure if there is any other ways. I'm, I am going to talk about this area before we go back and look at the other direction. Um, here's that guy that I was talking about that you should kill because he steals your money while you're here. So this is the boss arena for Godric the Grafted. As you can see, it is very, very pretty here. It's arguably smaller arena I mean these these get in the way the graves so I mean they can be broken by Godric himself but they usually get in the way more than help and then this guy here you can talk to him after you uh after you beat Godric he, you know he's just telling him stuff on his face and stuff Um, you can kill him after, but I don't think there's really a benefit. And I absolutely love this. A lot of, I didn't notice this my first time, that they had Godfrey in the back over here, the first Elden Lord. And I guess, I don't know who those people are. Um, I don't really know if this was made for Godfrey or Godric. But all I know is that I don't think Godric could fit in that chair. So now we're going to go back to... Yeah, this. It should be at the front of the castle. Yeah, so they have this way over here. That is the side entrance, which is more beginner friendly. Most of it is pretty straightforward, but um, a little bit of critical thinking probably needs to be done. How have I not gotten this grace? Maybe I haven't done it on this playthrough. So I could show you the... Um, Full experience of going through this way since I don't have the grace here. You just want to keep pushing through. There's somebody at the top of this. They're gonna alert everybody. Um, you don't really want to peek that corner. You want to kind of stay back because there is a person who shoots arrows right over there. Yeah, that person. They'll, uh, shoot at you, so. You're gonna want to kill these guys, because they will try to kill you. There's a very, very good weapon. Right here at the beginning. It is this. Hook Claws, very good bleed weapon for, uh, new players to get used to the game. Um, ultra close range, so you're gonna have to be like in somebody's face to do anything, basically. Uh, you could practically run past these guys if you wanted. Um, you kind of want to follow the route I'm taking, except, you know, try not to get hit. I think you backstab this guy right up here. Oh, wrong button. So, what am I in? Who's throwing it? Okay. 
Well, they have a guy in here. I don't know if it's gonna make me do the cutscene. No, okay, so they have a banished knight right there. You can sneak up on him. I don't think it's banished knight, actually. Holy shit. You can see he still does a lot of damage. Okay. And the purpose of going in this room is this, the key, so you can open this chest over here. And you get that item. It's a decent talisman, let me see. Equipment, where is it at? Enhances guard counter, so if you do a lot of those, that is uh, pretty useful. Yeah, if you don't kill a uh, Gustak, um, you'll be forced into a cutscene and you'll be ambushed by that knight, by the way. So I recommend doing that. Moving on to the next area. We have to go this way now so that we can use the key. Just climbing up the stairs. Uh, yeah, climbing up the stairs. Climbing up the ladder. Uh, don't forget to jump. Yeah, um, that guy can kill you, I think, if he grabs you. I think he gets a backstab off. Yeah, more or less the inside area of this uh, starter castle isn't really too interesting because it just doesn't really have much. I mean, if you look at this though, that's the Chapel of Anticipation where you actually start the game. Can't believe it's this close. I've never seen it from this perspective. Um, up ahead, we have a knight. And he's a bit strong. Um, your choice if you really decide to kill him. I'm gonna kill him just for the sake of the video. So you can see how to do it. Should turn around any second. And if you wanted, you could backstab him, but I'm just going to do waterfowl. Make it easier for the video and stuff. Um, sometimes they can actually drop their armor, if I'm not mistaken. So this seems to be more or less a storage room. I guess it's for like defenses and because they have a lot of spears. So yeah, I imagine this is for def uh, defense. Uh, don't jump down this hole. I think it has a, yeah, elevator all the way at the bottom. I think there's a grace over here, actually. No, it's a, uh, it is another ladder. Do I have this grace? Wow, I'm really going to take you through the whole thing. All right. So up here, there's not really too much else to see. Um, there's a few people to kill. Wow, I can't believe we blocked that twice. What the fuck is going on? Are you kidding me? Damn. Getting over that is as simple as just jumping and knowing where to jump and stuff. First time I did it, I'm pretty sure I died, so. There's a person over here. Oh, I thought there was.
There's a few enemies here, so just be aware. And you can jump up on here and get like other get to other areas and stuff. There was an area below me that you can go, as you can see. There is just so much to explore. That was death, okay. I should have figured that. I was pretty high up. Considering that the rest of Stormvale is, well, it's mainly meant for Godric. I love how whenever you really get to look at everything, it actually looks like a castle. Not many games can really nail the design and feel of how massive a castle is. Everything here is explorable. I just love this. It's just so beautiful. You can avoid a lot of these guys. Um, don't really give you too much, if anything, besides a uh, foul foot, so. Um, if you haven't been this way before, there's an NPC here, Rajir, that you can talk to, and he will, uh, you can do this quest line and you get different things like that, rewards. Isn't this library beautiful? Wow. Oh man, I wish I could go up there. They have a nice little courtyard, a few alive enemies. This can be a bit tricky. If you've, uh, you can run past them. You just gotta dodge at, you know, the right time. Gotta get those iframes. This is one of my favorite parts of the castle, just cause you get to see a bit cleaner of an interior. Until you ruin it, of course, with this night. So I'm gonna wait. Wow, it really shows how much uh, they didn't like this guy. I just love how that's just there for like ambiance and like environment. It just adds so much to show like how they uh how everybody isn't really treated well here. Alright, now I can show you this beautiful room without it getting destroyed. Um inside here is the mimic veil that Godric used to escape. So he could get his great room, his shard. Wow, isn't this beautiful? It's so clean. Then they have a meeting table full of papers, and I'm sure whenever this was actually being used, they had really good discussions here. Good war meetings, and who knows what else. Uh, here, you can just run past everyone. It's a grafted scion. Um, there is a shortcut you unlock right up here, though. I'll show you where this leads. See, remember right over here where the birds are. In that area that really led to nothing. You have a shortcut now. In case you die, you can just go this way. Wow. Now I gotta do a double trip. I 
I'm pretty sure this is the alternative way to bring you to Godric. If I remember right. We're about to run into another courtyard again. As you can see, I'm not sure if you remember. Yeah, as you can see, we're back here again. Remember these birds. Wow, I'm getting chased. Okay, and that is the other way to get to Godric. Slightly painful, but I'll show you what's over here. Um, this is gonna lead you to a few jars. Yeah, as you can see, they have some cute little jars over here. I do need to kill them for uh, an item. Yep. There's a mama jar. And don't underestimate them. They have a bit of health. So. Yeah, those living jar shards are pretty useful. Later game. Um, yeah, that's about it. You just murdered a whole jar family for one item. After running back now, I can appreciate this a little bit more because I'm not sure if you noticed the first time, but there is a dragon here, decapitated. So I wonder how that uh, initially got here. I wonder how long it's been like that too. This pierced. Just totally pierced on its side. This would be a pretty good throne. Probably gonna have to end the video there. Um, I think it's this way you go, if I remember right. I also wanna show off this, in case you didn't know. Oh, I don't have it equipped. There's a spell called Law of Regression, and you can reveal any hidden walls at any time if you use the spell. but it also removes like your buffs and stuff. So it's really only useful for select amount of things. And they have a Shibri grape over here if you know you wanted to do a uh, frenzied flame ending. And then Storm Veil will spit you right out here. And uh, arguably one of the most beautiful sceneries in the whole game. Wow. It's so crazy that you can actually go to every single place here. You just have so much stuff. All of the map is explorable. That's so cool. Considering we did not look at everything, because that would take quite a long time, and considering I have not been everywhere in Stormvale, I think... I would honestly rate it a 7 out of 10, just because of how dreary things are, but I'm pretty sure that's the point. It's definitely not one of the most prettiest areas, but I think it is one of the most essential in learning the game, and understanding the, understanding the core mechanics, and learning how to actually play the game, learning when to roll, learning how to use those iframes properly, learning when to attack, counterattack, and all that. Um, I feel Godric and Morgoth are one of the most essential, essential bosses in Elden Ring. Reason is, a lot of people may not agree with this, you should not use 
Well, you can use summons, but you, pro you probably shouldn't first time fighting. You probably shouldn't summon anybody, like friends or anything, real people. Um, Godric and Morgoth is the first actual learning curve of the game. You should take your time. If you get mad, that's okay. It took me quite a few hours to actually beat him my first try. I think I actually took a break and came back the next day. That's how many, I think that's how long it took me. But it is worth it. Everything is worth doing. This game is fantastic. And I would say, if I had to rate it, probably a 9 out of 10, just because how essential and critical this area is to the rest of the game. I mean, there's just so many things like that you learn from the fight. I feel like it's just really necessary to have a grasp every, of everything. And it's one of the better castles in the game. I kind of wish Caria Manor was like this, a bit larger and on this scale, but I could see why it's not. I mean, it is what it is. I appreciate it. I love how the design is and very well done by George R. R. Martin. Very glad that uh, he was, you know, asked to join this uh, beautiful, beautiful project. And I think I do want to show you guys one more thing real quickly. Where is it at? I want to show you a little bit more. I know I usually don't do this. I just want to show a little bit more off of the castle. I wish they changed the skybox up a little bit and make things look a little bit ne uh, neater. Um, there is an important NPC in this room. If you have not gotten to them, they're called Nefeli. Holy shit, I didn't think he would chase me. Wow. Damn, dude. There is, you know, that uh, way that I did die. So I kind of want to go there. Check it out. Wow, he's... I didn't even know he could go that far. He's just killing absolutely everyone. Oh, no. Holy shit. The chase down was crazy. I don't think I've actually been up here. Okay. Wow. It's a little angry. Just aggroing absolutely everybody in the castle. No way. How is he faster than me? That's crazy. Um, I think I forgot where to go. Alright, let's take a look at Rampart, Tower, and where it leads you. Place that I said was useful. I forget, it leads to a whole new area. Or useless, sorry. Is actually useful. Let's go the intended way. Take a look around. Let's see. You can see absolutely everything from up here. I'm sure there's things I'm gonna, gonna miss. And there definitely is. Wow.
Is that really all that's up here? I guess they do have this other path, but I'm not really too sure. I feel like that's a little lacking. I mean, they do have that. Which I guess you can drop down. Is that what it really wants? Interesting how the game... Uh, Where am I? I'm not sure I've actually been this way. Oh, that's cool. I guess we can see what's over here. Or about a scion. Guess we'll see if it was worth it. Um. Doesn't really seem like it so far. Uh, I think that's actually pretty decent. Wow, that was a little disappointing. Well, just because how lame that was, I think I'm going to drop it down to a uh, 7 out of 10. I can't believe that, that, <laughs> that was pretty stupid how that uh, it's just another shortcut. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Turn on notifications if you want to see more. Uh, please comment what you would like to see. If you'd like to see me play a different game or if you'd like to see different content from Elden Ring or see a certain area you would like me to uh, visit, please let me know. And thank you. Have a good day.